Previously on Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Tommy went to Avery's place. Meanwhile, his phone rang. The caller was Lance Vance. Lance tried to rebuild trust with Tommy, saying, We can do this job together. Tommy responded, We've gone too far. If we don't do this together, we'll both die anyway. Avery introduced Tommy to someone named Donald Love. It seemed like Avery was trying to teach Donald the business. Avery didn't allow Donald to speak, but he wanted him to listen to everything discussed. Avery's goal this time was to start a gang war on the streets to lower real estate prices. Tommy changed his clothes and stirred up trouble on the streets to initiate gang wars. Later, Tommy's phone rang again. The caller thought he was calling Leo. Tommy told the person on the phone that he killed Leo and took his phone. The caller wanted to meet Tommy, thinking killing Leo was a brave act. He invited Tommy to a cafe in Little Havana. Tommy first went to Colonel Cortez's yacht. Cortez turned to Tommy and said, Diaz wants to work with you again. Cortez thought this was a good sign because he believed Diaz had a hand in the unfortunate incident with the delivery. Being close to deals could make things easier. Additionally, Cortez informed Tommy that he found a buyer for military equipment and wanted Tommy to handle the delivery. Tommy shot at the soldiers carrying military equipment, hijacked the tank, and left it where Colonel Cortez wanted. Later, Tommy went to the cafe in Little Havana to meet the person who called him. Meanwhile, Tommy's phone rang again. The caller was Kent Paul, claiming to have valuable information. He invited Tommy to the Malibu Club for a face-to-face -face conversation. Tommy entered the cafe. The guy in the cafe realized he was the person Tommy was waiting for, but asked, Are you that guy? To be sure, a playful banter began between Tommy and the guy. The guy at the cafe tried to provoke Tommy, saying he dressed like a woman. He asked Tommy to prove he was a man and if he could drive. Tommy responded, Yes, I can drive, just like a woman. He asked Tommy to take a boat out as a way to prove himself. Tommy showcased his skills with the boat, gaining the guy's trust. This concludes our sixth episode. Now, let's move on to the seventh episode. Enjoy! Tommy, enough dead man been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So, Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? All right, Mush. I'm gonna save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the buglemeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is, you might try to jump. You didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take ah, him? Ah! Oh, all right, all right, In plain mate. English. Keep your party on. You're quite him across town the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here.
Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. in the trunk. Holy shit. Where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is going to be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Way. Hey, stupid bingo. I'm paid muscles. must be inside. Your eyes and then your legs. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this, you murdering bastard! I'm going to flee your door. You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! <laughs> 